How's it going everyone? We've had a few days with Hunt Showdown Alpha, which is a PvP game with permadeath set in a PvE swamp o horror. This game was first shown off at E3 last year and is only in its alpha stages. But we have plenty to talk about. Here are a few crucial tips and things we think you should know. Number one, this isn't PUBG and anyone can survive. The stated point of each round is to find three clues using your dark sight that lead you and every other two-man team to a boss monster that someone then has to kill, banish, and extract. However, Showdown's really more about PvP because only one team can extract with the boss tokens. And if you die, you lose your hunter's progress permanently, as well as half of your experience that goes towards a persistent leveling system. If you survive by making it to any labeled extraction point, you can level up your hunter with additional health and perks. So going for the boss monster is actually a pretty big risk that you don't necessarily need to take. Instead of that, you can just grab clues and farm zombies before getting out on your own. Likewise, if your partner gets killed, there's really no reason to risk it. Just get out. Note that extractions go much faster with both teammates alive. If you get to the point where you've lost all of your hunters, you can recruit new level zero ones for free, but they'll be weaker than players who survive a few rounds. Number two, zip it. A lot of showdown is about listening and staying quiet as long as possible. If you start shooting infected and triggering crows and horses and dogs, other teams will come find you and get the drop. Likewise, you need to pay attention to other teams making those same mistakes. Melee weapons do have a heavy attack that can drop most infected with the least amount of noise. You do want to kill them for XP, so don't avoid fighting, just keep it quiet. Be aware that some throwables, such as fire lanterns, cause zombies to scream a lot. Number three, ambushes are key. Teams that kill level bosses still have to extract with their banishment booty. And as soon as they head for the exit, a large lightning storm shows where they are on the map at all times. Letting other teams do the dirty work greatly lowers the risk of you getting shot in the back while doing it yourself. A good strategy is to guess what extraction point you think that team might head for and then go straight there during the lengthy banishment process. You can see banishment process in the upper left corner of your screen. If everything works out, most of the remaining hunters will have killed each other, and you can mop up the survivors. Also, proximity voice chat is on, so if you're discussing that brilliant plan you have to ambush another team, know that they can hear you. Now his buddy's up here. Number four, have a shotgun. If you're going to ignore all of the last thing I said, and you want to go fight other players at banish points, which are usually inside, go buy or bring a shotgun. In the alpha build, shotguns are the only viable PvP weapon at close range, with the shortest time to kill. So if you don't have one equipped, keep your fights outdoors and at range where you can actually win. Number five, headshot if you can find it. There are a number of infected enemies with heads in various gooey places, and some are far more dangerous than others. One ranged attacker can send swarms your way, and her head is hanging off by her side. Other infected can charge at you or do burning damage, which leaves you unable to bandage yourself for periods of time. The most dangerous unit we encountered was actually a pack of dogs that can maul you to death while also giving away your position to other players. So it's important to learn your undead and how to take them down. Oh, and don't forget that friendly fire is on as you wildly swing that hatchet next to your partner's head. So far, we've had a pretty good time with Hunt Showdown's Alpha. We're not entirely sold on losing your hunter permanently when you die, because in a PvP-focused game, you're bound to die a lot by design. We'll have to see if the continuous progress system called Bloodline makes up for that. What do you guys think about this style of PvP? Do you enjoy the added tension, or does it seem a bit unfair? Let's talk about it in the comments below, and we'll bring you more on Hunt Showdown as we continue to see the game. Thanks for watching.